And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Nocturne, our next meme tier Monday deck. This one's going to be a fun one where we're going to be uh, going to be an aggressive deck that deals with ephemerals. We got a couple shark chariots in here with the ephemerals. And of course, Maokai is going to be getting us saplings every single turn. And those saplings will be doing some challenging. So we're going to be... Um, Going to be attacking with those. We got three other saplings, so we're going to be, uh, yeah, having that kind of stuff attack. Then we got Iron Harbinger in here, a three mana two four. The whenever it attack, it's also fearsome. Whenever it attacks, you grant it, grant it. So that's permanent buff, plus one plus zero for each ephemeral ally you have. So you know that that will help out with uh, the different stuff. You also have like Stalking Shadows that grabs an ephemeral unit for you. Um, a good amount of Nightfall cards in here because we're going to be trying to level up nocturne with that and of course uh, when you do level up nocturne it gives all of your other allies fearsome so that works pretty well together um so just just a good good little uh deck with some some synergy in here with different things um the let's see then we even have a rasa the sunder at the top end which looks really cool play kill the two weakest en enemies if an ally died this round so lots, lots of cool stuff here. This was a donation deck from a viewer. So let's uh, get this going. Let's see how it does. All right, Maokai Nocturne. So we're just playing our games in at normal today because it is meme tier Monday. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try our games over in normal. We got Vladimir Brahm. Okay, let's get rid of the grasp and maybe keep the rest of these. We get to, you know, we have a good amount of card draw with having Pill Cascade and Guiding Touch. Okay, Lunari Shade Stalker. I didn't really want to just throw away the sapling toss. How can Brom help? That card's good. Night flowers upon my blade. First we fight only your best. We will resist. We will be free. Nice, right, so they get a mighty poro. So Nocturne's attacked one time. So that'd be one, and then this would be two, three, four. As far as leveling up Nocturne is concerned. Can't quite level up Nocturne. I'd never keep my guests waiting. So I could, you know, obviously I could just not kill the Brahm and just leave it alone. Okay, they didn't want to have their Vladimir Blanc. I'm gonna go ahead and unspeakable horror this. Create a random nightfall card. Cool, Doom Beast is good. We're at four. Ooh, love the sapling. Take what we want! The rest will burn! Oh, the butchery we can. Love the sapling. I'm absolutely Man, Stygian you know, Onlooker is good too. So feel pretty good about killing them the next turn.
Yeah, I feel pretty good about killing them. Let's see what they got. Ooh, cooling strike. Okay, okay. So I can just immediately attack. So I immediately attack a challenge. Or I go and grab another Doom Beast. I guess I just immediately attack. Yeah. This basically keeps them from playing an Avalanche. Right, like I could, I could get like another Doom Beast and and four one and stuff like that, but then they could Avalanche. You know, playing Vladimir Braum, like that definitely seems like that could be an Avalanche kind of deck. Puts lethal on them again, and then I also have the Doom Beast. Another fine scar. Okay. Sapling toss was it really good that game. Just begun. One no. Timo Vi. I don't see Timo Vi that often with Targon. Targon's probably going to be for Pale Cascade. So pretty decent hand. I guess I'll get rid of one sapling toss. Just to kind of like, you know, look for our champions, look for Maokai and Nocturne and stuff like that. But I like, uh, I like sapling toss. The Teemo. Dustbringer is a good card to draw that helps turn on all, you know, our entire hand was Nightfall. So Dustbringer is a good one to turn on Nightfall. Uh, I wanted to wait till next turn and then play Dustbringer next turn, but I don't want them to just go be able to go open attack, create a gem for free, and keep that thing around. So I'm planning on playing the unspeakable horror. You leave me no recourse. Yeah, we we drew double puff cap, so yeah, that was basically a three one Teemo. That first turn. Night flowers upon my blade. Okay, another good Lunari Duskbringer. <laughs> Assembly Bot is awesome. That's an underrated card right there. That's an underrated card. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. I'll trade Vi and Dusk Rider if they want to trade. Alright, they did not want to trade. So this will be a leveled up nocturne. Hey, there was a little fella asking for me. Lunari, rise. They have to have like a burst spell to pump up the assembly bot to be able to block. Wow, that's like the best first spell they could have. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Huh. Yeah, that was like the best one they could have. Well, that's not great. <laughs> I 
Okay, so they get to keep Assembly Bot alive. And they're down to two cards. And we got... We're down to two cards also, but we got two good ones. Ooh, got any touch good here. Let's us draw. Turns on our Nightfall. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. They say these were from the protector himself. Heed the bar. Why would the one two attack? I should have played the Nocturne first. I was thinking, I was thinking like the ability, like whenever, you know, I was thinking about this ability. Yeah, I should have played Nocturne first. I should have played these the other order. Should play Nocturne first. I had two cards that would have killed him here. Oh, I guess Fading Memories also. So I guess I had four cards that would have killed them if I would, would have just played the Pill Cascade. I'm just gonna get by out of here. Wait till my next attack. Seven. What am I doing? I should play that my next turn. Get that minus. No, oh, yeah, I really should have waited a turn to play Maokai now. Uh, if I would have just played Maokai this turn, I got really punished. You gotta be kidding me! The worst card in my deck to draw. Oh come on! Is that the that's the only card? Literally the only card I couldn't draw. I guess I messed this game up. I could have played like the Maokai first, which would have gave like the minus with the Nocturne. And then both Hill Cascades would have drawn. Each one of these gems raises the uh, assembly bot's health by two, so they're gonna be able to raise it over Nocturne. Again, anyway. That's really impressive. That's very impressive. Uh, we did pretty good yesterday. We went three and two, so we ended up getting the card back. But you know, not gonna didn't win the tournament or anything like that. <laughs> what a top deck. What a top deck. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I just messed that game up, right? Like, that was a win. If I just waited one turn to play Maokai, that was a win. Because then I, you know, then I drew, like, that Fading Memories would have been the other card I would have had. <laughs> yeah, I was punished so hard for just, like, playing the, the Maokai that one turn instead of the next turn. Um, yeah, that's just how it is, I guess. Uh, my instincts took over, and, um, yeah. Definitely not something you'd expect to uh, matter that much. They forced us to choose death or the Alright, we got the attack token on turn one. Get the trash! Mm. Get the trash! <laughs> it's our time! Trash you, Wiggle! We will be free. Let's see. Shark Chariot. I was planning on going Stalking Shadows into Shade Stalker. But I guess we're going to do this. I want to get the Shark Chariot in play. Bloom water is good. Rasa would be really cool. To have, it'd be really cool to have double Rasa. They had a really good hand with their toss. Two dredge dredgers and the the three two and, and that card. So yeah, they are um, you know real close to deep already. So I wanted to be able to attack with the ephemeral doom beast. Which, you know, I could have played Sapling last turn, but then I, if I played Sapling last turn... Wow, they had another Jettison. So turn five, they're deep. Two Jettison and Deadbloom Wanderer, and two of the one-drops. Well, the good news... I, I don't really mind that double Vile Feast, honestly, because... Vile Feast is like, once they're already deep, Vile Feast is about as weak of a card as they can have. So if they want all Vile Feast, I'm fine with that. Yeah, because I don't... So they were turn five deep, right? Like I don't, I don't think you can go deep on turn four, can you? So that is as fast as deep as you can have, right? I guess maybe you could do turn four deep if you had three. I guess you could theoretically if you just had like all the the one mana cards. Yeah, you could. See if like this brings back the thing first. The shark first. I hope that shark has fearsome. I'm not sure exactly if it will. I, 
I hope so. That's why I wanted I wanted that thing first to hopefully bring bring back the shark, and then it gains fearsome. Okay, good. So yeah, it has fearsome. So this will put them down to one, and then I have unspeakable horror. I wasn't sure that like if I attacked with if I attacked with Nocturne first, maybe the Noc you know, if the Nocturne would do the fearsome stuff first before the other thing would bring the shark into play. Wasn't exactly sure. Let's do this right now before my Nocturne goes away, because it's a Nocturne card. Alright, perfect. Two and one. Playing against a Masi, uh... This would be a good match. I could see this going either way. This looks like a... Something that could be a very good match. I love Sapling Toss taking down their 2-mana two 2-2. Two -two. Um, the problem is I won't be able to do that until turn 4. Right, like, I, if I play Sapling here on turn 1 and get the Sapling for turn 2, they're not going to play the 2-mana two 2-2 two -two on turn 2. Alright, we'll just kill us a 3 up. <laughs> they were too surprised by it. They passed. Alright, I'll keep this sapling for the next one. Yep, so there's Battlesmith. That's the card I was talking about. So yeah, so we'll have this to challenge Battlesmith. But like I said, it's not going to be until turn four. Discipline and steal. Show them our hey, what's up, Potato? Good afternoon. All right, cool. Safeguard our citizens. No. Bannerman, no. Well, this now does not look good for me. Does not look good for me at all. I like that pill cascade. For king and country. I don't know if it really matters which one I choose for the vulnerable thing. We do what is right. Fall to our standard. It's really annoying that Garen is the the six six instead of like a regular five five. Because five five, we'd put it on the Doom Beast and block over there. Demacia will prevail. So it does give them another another card to play with the Battlesmith. Show them what we're made of. Cythria. Whatever the cost. I wish I would have put it on the Vanguard Sergeant, of course. Now.
hope they don't have a rally. I can still play this Digion Almucker if they do, but I hope not. Gross. Okay, down to one. Not very much life. Night flowers upon my blade. It's not the worst of draws. Does allow me to play both of my nightfall units this turn, but then again we have to think about do we want to wait until next turn for one of the nightfall units? Maybe we maybe try playing them both. Putting them to negative three. I could I could make it, you know, like negative two if I if I have Duskbringer challenge over here instead. I guess it's I guess I keep Maokai alive. We'll see. We'll see if they stay alive at one. No, they do not. Alright, GG's. There you go. Good job, Nocturne. Three and one. Now some dragons. GG's. Yeah, that was a good game. Um, it doesn't really feel right to mulligan and Nocturne, but I also need to play stuff beforehand. No, I'll keep Nocturne. Swing low, shark chariot. I wait on this Almucker. We could play it, but don't really have to. Get him, shark chariot. Get him. All right, so now I know I'm going to have a couple of other units after uh, Maokai. Like, even if I play Onlooker, I'll still have Doom Beast Nocturne afterwards, and plus these Unspeakable Horrors probably generate some other stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'm not playing Stygian Onlooker. Hmm. That's too bad. Able to keep that thing alive. Sapling Toss has been really good in, in these games, hasn't it? It's been an underrated card for us, that Sapling Toss. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Yeah, saplings are great. Speaking of, I guess I wait till next turn for sapling toss, though. It just makes more sense to wait. Her power is unimaginable, even now. Even now, you say. I think I'm gonna trade Nocturne and Shivana. I think I want to trade. There, Shivana is super powerful. Obviously, they could have a yet another sharp sight, but it's just. What's the fire breath this time? It's just how life is. Oh, Herald of Dragons or Dragon Guard Lieutenant? Maybe the Lieutenant. I 
of course, was planning on Herald the Dragons before this. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil. Night Bloom. Break them. All right, really good answer to Sharp Sight there with that Pill Cascade. Perfect. Night flowers that worked out. Be able to play that before Nightfall cards, and now we have the Dust Petal Dust for next turn for the Eclipse Dragon. They can play Eclipse Dragon this turn, though, because of the Herald. The prophecies ring true. No more hiding. Blessed vengeance. I mean, I'm taking seventy. If I let them kill Maokai, they take seven. Right. I forgot. Shark Cherry coming back. Can't forget about Shark Chariot. Okay, we're gonna have dust into Eclipse Dragon. Her power is unimaginable, even now. What else we got? Ooh, the Scourge. Stalking Blue Mother. Who's the dragon deck now? It looks like us. Looks like we are the dragon deck. Unspeakable Horror is so great. Unspeakable Horror creates the Eclipse Dragon, which creates these things. Boo. Maokai, no. We almost had. Oh, I meant to play the sapling toss. No, I wanted to play that. No, I to play that. Mm, yeah, it would have been really nice because then we got the shark also. I'm going to play this card. I'm going to keep them from playing a really soul this turn. All right, they got that with Daybreak. Corruption everywhere. Okay, well, we, we would not have killed them last turn because that was card in their hand. Last turn. Maokai is getting pretty close, 24. Sapling will die in, at the end of the round to make it 25. See you soon. Let me remember to actually cast the Sapling Toss this time. I'm so and there we go. Maokai levels up. We got four cards. Just 
just to see. We can play this. Doom Beast. Alright, we're gonna attack. We're gonna go challenge, challenge. Those two. Okay, again, I gotta have the challenge first before. Because I, I want the you know the sapling attack first, bring the shark chariot out before this thing happens with the plus two plus two overwhelm. So I can I can still grasp the undying the white flame protector and kill it and have this four overwhelm get through. But nope, they just pass, so that's negative four. I'll do it. Thank you, Scourge. Our Scourge mirror match. And there we go. GG's. Alright, so we are four and one. We out dragon to the dragon deck. Yeah, we sure did. So there we go. So there's Maokai Nocturne. The saplings came in clutch. Saplings were awesome. Sapling toss was really good. And then, of course, the saplings with Maokai. Um, that, that was pretty awesome. Another way to play a Maokai deck that's not just trying to go deep and trying to obliterate the opponent's deck. Um, and, you know, care about tossing, but really just caring about the saplings. That was, that was pretty awesome. The saplings were really good. Uh, and they paired with Nocturne, right? Because, like, you level up Nocturne. And then all of your other allies have fearsome, and so that then you know you you attack with a bunch of fearsome units, but they could usually block with one or two things, and that's where your saplings come into play. Your saplings can challenge their one or two things that can block, and then you can allow your other things to come through. So pretty awesome, a really nice four and one. It could have maybe been a five zero. Uh, also there, if I would have waited, you know, it just. It, it wasn't instinctual, but if I would have just waited a turn to cast my Maokai until the next turn, I think we would have won that game. Because I would have waited a turn, I would have played Maokai, then both Pale Cascades would have been turned on for the Nightfall. Play both Pale Cascades, I would have drawn, you know, the first one draws into another Maokai that doesn't do anything. The second one would have drawn into a Fading Memories. The Fading Memories could have copied... You know, like a Stygian onlooker, I think, was in there, or, you know, just something like that, which would have also grabbed a, another sapling, and I think that we would have been able to kill them, um, especially with their hand. With You know, they just had some uh, cards like Pale Cascades and stuff like that, too. But, yeah, so that was um, something that wasn't, um, you know, wasn't like the real obvious play. The real obvious play was just cast your Maokai when you draw it and then wait and save your mana for the next turn. But, uh, yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, that was that was really impressive. Um, didn't really do too much with Iron Harbinger. That's a cool looking card, but we didn't really use that card. Uh, but besides that, we used pretty much everything else. We, you know, a lot of Nightfall stuff. Nocturne was just amazing for us, and the deck worked out really well. So that's Maokai Nocturne. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.